Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great workout you can do in your home. Today I want to focus on giving you something you can do to increase your heart rate. So you can use this as your warm up for my other workouts. You can just do it as a quick cardio workout. Um, or you can use little pieces of it uh, to get your heart rate up in between my work. You know, when I say do one or two more um, sets and then follow each one with a little cardio workout. Some of these would be great additions to just a quick heart rate rev up, okay? So we're gonna start today with knee drives. So you're not gonna need any equipment for any of these things, but um, I'm just gonna show you a few quick things that you can do. So when I say knee drives, this is what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you reach up to the opposite side of the room and we're gonna drive your knee up like this. So imagine that you have like a pillow or something that you're trying to break, like a wooden board or something, and try to break it over your knee. That's the goal. So you can start with just that motion, or, and then you can also make it boom, boom, more like a power. And then these, what I think would, would work best is if we do them each side for about 30 seconds, or a minute, you can decide. So I'm gonna time these as we go. Other side, reach up to the opposite, drive your knee down like you're trying to break a board over your, over your knee. Then you can take them down a little if it's feeling like a lot, you're just hands overhead. When you raise your hands over your head, that can be challenging. Boom, if you add a little power, it makes it a little more challenging. Four more seconds, two, and one. All right, good. Next, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Now, classic jumping jack, right? However, you can do low jacks. There's lots of variations on these. So you can bring your arms up, step tap. And if bringing your arms out to the side is really tiring for you, bring your arms just here. So we're going for about 30 seconds here. Keep breathing. If you wanna add a little more, you can bring your arms up a little higher. Increase the speed just a little bit. If you can even bring them up here. And then if you want to end with a little, a couple little jumping jacks, or you can keep it right here. You may notice that you're feeling a little bit out of breath. Or you can do good old jumping jacks. And rest. Okay. So remember, lots of variation there. You can start start low, work a little higher, depending on where you're feeling, or bring it back down if you feel like it's a little bit much. Okay, the next one is a strength and a cardio, um, but it can be a great war warm up for some upper body exercises. So we're gonna do walkouts. So we've done these in the past, and you can always use a chair as a modification, and I will show you that after a couple of these. But let's try to do five. So you're gonna bend down, walk out to a plank, and then walk yourself back up. So that's one. If you think that seems a little bit too much, keep going if you're doing them, but I'm gonna show you a variation. You can take a chair, lean over, step your feet back to a plank, back up, stand up. So this is a variation on that if you're not sure you wanna do the full walkout. So keep going if you're doing them. I'm gonna do two more with you. Bend down, walk out to a plank, and then stand all the way back up. One more. And rest. Okay, like I said, you can do four of those, five of them, maybe 10, um, but it's a great way to get your heart rate up, use a bunch of muscles in your body, and get your upper body warmed up for some exercises. Okay, next we're going to do some side step. Um, I like to call them skaters. So remember, like, if, like when you watch the Olympics and you see the speed skaters moving side to side. So you can start by just kind of jumping side to side like this. You can move your arms. First, you can start with just side steps. Side tap. And then add a little bit more. And then if you're really feeling ambitious, you can get your arms moving just like the speed skaters. 
Get one, one leg going back behind. You can move it back to so side to sides. We're gonna go for just a few more seconds. And rest. Okay, good. Hopefully your heart rate's up a little bit. You're feeling like you're, you know, kind of getting a good little challenge here. Next, we're gonna lower back down to the ground. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. So this one I'm gonna have you do fast. Normally I have you do them slow and controlled. What a mountain climber is, is down in a plank, your hands directly beneath your shoulders. You can start with your knees directly beneath your hips and then step your feet out. And then we're gonna go up like this. Now, if that is just too much, keep going if you're doing them. You can try them on a chair like this. So you've got a little less of an angle or more of an angle actually. If that feels like too much, there's one more way you can do it. You can put your elbows on like your bed. Let's see, I don't really have a cushion here. But if this was your bed and you put your elbows like this, and then you did your mountain climbers, that is a great variation to those because you don't have to use your wrists. A lot of people have wrist pain when you put your body weight on them. So if you can go to the side of your bed, the side of your couch, somewhere comfy, cushy, or put like a beach towel on your chair, then you can do them more, a little bit more modified. And it's still challenging. It's just um, more doable, especially if you have any wrist pain. Okay, one more thing that you can try to get your heart rate up a little bit. Like I said, you can use all of these. You can kind of interject them in between my exercises for other workouts. We're gonna do side punch jabs. So we're gonna start on one side of the room. We're gonna go side punch. We're jabbing out to the side and back and forth. And then as with any of these, you can increase the speed with them as you go. Pick up your feet a little more, make it just kind of a more of a quick side step punch. Still try to punch pretty hard if you can, or slow it back down. One more time back and forth, three. Okay, great. Now, I didn't have very far to go here. If you have a long hallway, you can go down the hallway and back or down through your kitchen and back that type of thing. So let me know if you have any questions, use these to get your heart rate up. Got mine up a little bit as I'm talking. And then let me know if you have any questions or need any modifications. So enjoy these, have a great workout, and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.